vision is powerful. Proverbs 29 and verse 18 says this, Where there is no vision, the people are unrestrained, but happy is he who keeps the law. There are other translations that put it this way, that where there is no vision, people perish. We can have goals for our lives or you know, we can just live life um, as they say, you know, que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. But the best way to live life and God's intended way for us to live life is to have a vision to discover our purpose uh, and do everything in line with that purpose. But where there is no vision, the Bible tells us that people perish. Uh, Jesus spoke to Martha. He, uh, this, this is a time when, when Jesus visited Martha and Mary's house. And uh, uh, during that time, Martha was being a good hostess and she wanted to uh, probably put the best food uh, on the table for Jesus and so she was working hard and she was getting stressed in the kitchen but you find that Mary was sitting and listening uh, at the feet of Jesus and when Martha came complaining what Jesus told her is that you know you, Martha you don't have to be uh, preoccupied with everything you need only one thing you just need one thing and, and that one focus Mary had. Mary was looking at Jesus. Mary was listening to Jesus. Uh, and Mary uh, had all her energy concentrated on Jesus. So the way Mary gave her full attention for one purpose that afternoon or evening, I don't know which time uh, Jesus visited their home, but we've got to give our full attention to the vision that God has for our, for our lives. What happens when, when we have a vision? We understand that we're able to do things with, with a sense of purpose. We're able to focus all our energies uh, on that one cause that, that God wants us uh, to accomplish. And also the direction in which we move. You know, we, we are constantly uh, increasing in focus and we're constantly planning to uh, doing things well in, in that one direction. And so that focus is, is really important. To get a life vision, uh, as we call it, is, is very, very important. Now, if we do not have focus and if we do not have a life vision, uh, what could happen? What ends up happening is that we, we use up all the energy in, in many other things. Uh, we use up our resources, we use up our time. And when it comes to doing uh, those things that God, had actually, God has actually designed us to do, you know, we're left with, with, with no energy to do those things. And that's why we... We've got to get that vision uh, and move towards it. Uh, and with focus, you know, we, we are able to um, uh, do excellent work. We are able to accomplish the that for which that Christ Jesus has taken hold of us. So uh, this is our encouragement uh, to us this day that, that we pray and we ask God uh, to clarify that one vision that we choose things that are in line with that one vision. God encountered Paul, Jesus encountered Paul uh, in, in a miraculous way. He was told that the purpose of his life would be to serve the Gentiles. He, he would go and, and he would do his ministry among the Gentiles. So he knew uh, the main purpose that God had for him. In the same manner, we can pray and ask God that he would reveal his purpose for us. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray uh, today, Father, for a focus. Lord, we pray for a vision, oh God, because a vision will help us focus our energies. God, that you will help us recognize, Father, what is priority and what is not. And God, even as we do that, we thank you for increased strength. We thank you for excellence, oh God. We thank you that, that we'll be able to live a more fulfilled life, Father, for the glory of your name. Father, we bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.